Hello out there everybody, I'm Eddie Martin and we're here at Oak Crest Community Center and we're here to talk to Chief Ayers and Mr. Murray. Chief Ayers is founder of the Community Unity for Community Project and Mr. Murray is the coordinator for the entire thing. Thank you for joining us and at this time we'd like to introduce Chief, how are you doing? Doing fine, sir. Thank you very Good, much. Good, Mr. Murray? Oh, um, fantastic. Are we fantastic. on track to what we want to do? Yes, sir. I think it's a good way. Now, the Community uh, for Unity uh, Project uh, is going to be held on April the 11th at Oak Crest Community Center. And it's uh, a partnership between Capitol Heights, District Heights, and the Metropolitan Police Department in D.C., uh, District 6. So, with that in mind, um, you're going to have a wonderful time, a lot of vendors, uh, have a great day. We have a lot of health people here. Uh, we're going to be doing some good things in the community. And first, I'd like to ask Chief, how did, how did this program come about, Chief? The reason why we started this is because I went to an event uh, three years ago down in Oxon Hill. Oxon Hill Police Department, as well with um, Washington, D.C. Police Department, Sub District, they had an event where they had a parade as activities for the community, showing a united front. And I thought it was a great uh, concept, and I thought we should do something up here in the central area of the county. This is an awesome task in terms of bringing all of these things together. Um, and I've seen you brought in a, a, a great guy here, a great community guy that does a lot of things in the community on radio station. So this is Mr. Murray. Mr. Murray, how did you get involved with this? Well, uh, because of my experience of putting together events you know, all across the country and for my profession, that, uh, and I saw where the need was. You know, I'm a community guy, and, and I just saw the need, and I saw the greatness. Uh, and, and what was needed through what the chief's idea, and so I volunteered. Okay, so how did y'all come together? How did y'all how find each other? How did you mesh? Well, I know Mr. Mary for many years when I was with the county police department, and he's done a lot of things in the community. So um, a lot of events we go to, we attend together. And when I brought the idea of doing something over here for the central part of the county, uh, he was all in. Okay. Now, tell us some of the uh, things uh, that's going to be going on on April 11th. Uh, well, one of the, the big things is we're going to have a health fair, which is very large. We have um, uh, the major hospitals bringing in, in units. We have a lot of the other medical facilities come in. We have uh, uh, something to get you for hearing. We have dental coming in. Uh, we have the health department. We have Red Cross. And it's just a, a, an array of, of uh, medical professionals coming in to, uh, you know, free screening. And then we're going to have two stages. We're going to have an entertainment, a gospel stage. We're going to have an entertainment stage. We're going to have games for the children and the parents. We're going to have a play area, vendors. We're going to have food. And it's just going to be a day of, of excitement, fun, and education. It's the, the community. It's unity in the community. And it's a day of learning. And it's, it's health-based, basically, for this. But it's still going to be just a day of fun for family. Now, I know the uh, great name unity in the community. Chief, how did we come up with that? Okay, well, we came up with that name because we want to make sure we are united front in the community that um, we have a lot of times people say we can't work well together and we try to prove them wrong. We try to show them that we can bring something together for the good of the community. Another thing is this is our second annual. We had a first annual event last year where we went from a parade down at Central Avenue down to the district and actually had an event in the district. This year, we're doing vice versa. We're actually bringing people back into Prince George's County, and we'll have it here at Oak Crest. Um, this year's theme is uh, health and wellness, which I think is very important. Last year's theme was public safety. But this year, we're trying to get all these different um, doctors, offices, and medical facilities to come and actually show people that it's very important to think about your health now instead of later. Because a lot of times, people wait till the last minute and find some kind of disease or something they don't want in stages where it's hard for them to recover from. Absolutely. Now, one, one good thing about this uh, program, uh, Unity in the Community, is that you're crossing lines now. Uh, as you stated a few minutes ago, you've gone down to the district line, but now you have the district involved, uh, District 6, uh, which is right next to us. How did you get uh, Metropolitan Police Department and district involved? In? Well, what we did, we went over there and met with them, and they thought it was a great idea because um, we service each other because um, everything is in transit. I mean, people come over here to work and vice versa. And we have people who live and uh, have friends and family on both sides. So it's very important that we have a united front on crime, on safety, and on health because everything affects everyone. Absolutely. Now, getting back over here, tell me what some of your best features that you're going to have other than the medical side. I'm, I have my family. I'm bringing my family. What, are we gonna have? what kind of day are we going to have? Oh, we're going to have a day of entertainment. 
all day. We like I said, we have two stages. One's going to be a gospel, and we have professional gospel groups. And we have this this one group coming in. That's the Gospel Brothers. They're about a 12-piece gospel group. Uh, and for the entertainment, we have a professional band coming in called Systems Band. I uh, have a young lady coming in who tells stories, and she also does it through a sign language. Mm, okay. We have local entertainment. We have uh, step groups. And we're just looking for just a good day. We have the, the like I said, the playground for the children and just a family. We're going to do games. We have a senior citizens, uh, stuff for just for senior citizens. But with the health fair, it's just you're going to get so much because, you know, the biggest problem we have is medical. You know, your health is your wealth. Absolutely. When you lose your health, man, you, you're going to struggle. You're going to have problems and issues. Right. And so the chief, I mean, the chief really has put together a great idea and helped us to run with it. Mm -hmm. It's servicing the community. The community needs service and the education. With what the chief is doing with all the police departments, the fire department, the park and planning, and the hospitals, it's just, I mean, it's something that's very much needed to show the community we are really all just one. Now, the other thing, too, you mentioned vendors now. If I was a vendor, um, what's the process for me to become a vendor? Well, know? we have a packet that we'll send out. If you know, contact the Capitol Heights Police Department, the chief will tell you about that, uh, and we'll send you a packet, and you fill out the form that's needed so we'll know, you know, what it is you want to sell, give away, or uh, information-wise. And uh, we'll send you a packet, fill out the form that fits what it is you want, and just send it in. Now, when they do that, Chief, is it a cost attached to that? Yes, uh, we have different um, costs for different kind of vendors. Any, anybody that's bringing any kind of information that deals with social needs is free. So if you want to come and give out information on how to um, apply for a loan, how to um, look for um, activities for your children, um, people coming in to actually show ways to go ahead and find jobs, we actually we encourage these groups to actually come out here and put up tables for free to give out that free information. Because one thing we have is that we want to make sure that our citizens are well educated in reference to the services that we can provide from in this area. Uh, some of the fees are going from 125 is the highest fee. I mean, that's for vendors that want to sell um, food, and for people who want to sell like jewelry or other things, it's like a fifty dollars. Okay, for. now now the vendors that sell food. Are they required to get a permit or something? Yes, a one-day um, permit. Okay, and what's the cost of that? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Mr. Mary? Yeah, well, when I, it's, it's not a very high fee, and if you're in the food, they already know. Uh, I went down to Upper Marble, Merlin, and spoke with them. They said, they're ready for the people come down. Let them come down, they're ready for them okay. already. Okay. So we've already set that up. When you go there, they'll tell you what it is you need to do, what you need to have. The expense isn't that much. It's really not. Most of your food vendors already know, and they've already gone through the health department screening and etc. And so they know what they need and what they have. And if you if you uh, if you're going to sell any type of items, you know, all you gotta do is just come. But well, we have already covered that uh, in 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 every in the licensing and stuff. Now if you're just giving away like teacher giving away information, I don't care if it's about insurance or what if you have a business that you want to promote, as long as you're not selling it's free. <laughs> now, but if they are not selling food, what are the costs for, say, a vendor selling hats or flags? That's $50. Yeah. $50 fee. Any okay. retail and item that you're and selling. And I want to clear that up because when you say the 150 you know, they might think it costs 150 No, it's $50. it's $50 for vendors that are selling non-food mm -hmm. items. Uh, vendors that are selling food, it's 125 We have four different bike rides going on. We have a 31-miler. Um, we have a 8-miler and a 10-miler. And then we have what's called a bike ride, which is coming from D.C. We will have uh, several police departments having their bike officers riding with civilians mm -hmm. coming from D.C. to Maryland. And I think that's something that's um, is what's needed in the area, showing a night front with our police department and our citizens. And that's going to be a great ride. And uh, I'll be riding that one. Okay. So. Now, is there any other thing that I should know about before we continue this? Well, I think that, should, that you would like to talk about. Yeah, okay. I think that what we, what all you have to do is just show up. A great day of fun. The event starts, the, 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 the uh, bike ride starts at 9, but at 11.30, we're having uh, a pep rally. 12 o'clock, we're doing the, the, the ribbon cutting for the entertainment start, so it goes from really from 11.30 to 4 for the event, not counting the bike ride, but the bike ride is all part of it, because we will have hundreds of bike riders mm -hmm. after riding, and it's amazing how many bike clubs it is. There is something here for everybody, everyone. We don't care if you're from, from, 
from newborn to 108, okay. we have something for you. And the senior citizens, please come out. We got something special for the senior citizens to enjoy the entertainment, the information, and the games and everything, and the youth. It's for lobby dolly like to say, in everybody. Okay, and Chief, you would be commended because this is a great idea. Uh, we know that you brought this concept here, uh, and we in the community just say thank you. We know the great job well, that you're you doing much. as a chief over in Capitol thank Heights. You. And um, Mr. Murr, you're a legend in this town, and it's about all the stuff you've done, whether it's on WOL or you. any other radio station, and uh, we're glad to have you a part of this. And we look forward to seeing everybody come out on April the 11th. Starts at 10 o'clock until 4 o'clock. Give me one last thing. Where does the bike ride start? Okay, both ride, well, all the bike rides start at Southern Avenue and Marlboro Pike. And goes all the way down, well, one bike ride goes all the way down to Upper Marlboro. That's 31 mile. It's going to be a nice little ride. And then we have some bike rides coming from Minnesota Avenue Metro Station. We start it there, and there's going to be a ribbon cutting there. And we're going to ride from uh, Minnesota Avenue to Oak Crest Community Center. Chief, now, I know that the, it's been a long winter and people are going to be a little bit out of shape and, and, and things like that. So do you have the paramedics riding behind the bikers because, you know, just in case of an accident or something? Carried? Yes, we have a safety plan where we have medics riding uh, in vehicles behind us and also we have a bus going to uh, follow behind the riders to make sure that if anybody can't make it, they can be picked up. Okay. Um, so it be a great ride. Another thing I want to make sure that people understand is that we always have to think about our health. And I think this is a great way to do it. Uh, we have uh, something that we committed in the uh, town of Capitol Heights as well as in the county, as well as in the state, is um, safe roadways. Um, most of our roadways are now being built to uh, service our bike riders. So we encourage people to bike to work, uh, our kids to bike to school. We try to get people back out and be energetic again. Uh, last year we did something great with District Heights. We had Healthy Heights, Absolutely. where we actually encouraged people to come out and exercise. That's the whole thing is to get people healthy because unhealthy community breeds crime. That's right. Absolutely. And so there you have it. April 11th, come out. Everybody, it's a fun day for everybody. We're going to have a great time here. It starts at 10 o'clock, ends at 4. We're going to have bike rides. We're going to have vendors. We're going to have food. We're going to have gospel singing. We're going to have things for senior citizens, for youth and the entire family. So come out on April 11th at 10 o'clock so we can get started and we can have a fun day. Chief, Great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Moore? Yes, sir. I look forward to all your programs you can put together. Thank you. So Thank there you, you have it. I'm Andy Martin here at the Oak Crest Community Center, and see you on April 11th.